three knights opening, Steinitz defense, 4.d4 x4 5.n x d4 bg7 6.b3. Smooth one player took the advantage and never let go. That game was pretty competitive. White took advantage of what black gave them in the opening. The middle game battle was fairly even. Sharp games are frequently the result of starting with the king's pawn since it dominates the center and frees up the bishop and queen on the light squares. A typical answer is e5, which builds a position in the middle, controls d4, and frees up the queen and bishop on the dark square. The move nf3 advances the knight toward the center, engages the e5 piece in combat, and sets up a castle. nc6 defends the pawn on e5, advances the knight toward the center, and scans the d4 square. The three knights opening begins with nc3, which controls the d5 square and supports the e4 pawn. The dark squared bishop is getting ready to be fianchetto to g7, where it will sit on the long diagonal. d4 gains space in the center and attacks black's pawn on e5. x4 releases the central tension by capturing white's pawn. Nx d4 recaptures the pawn and centralizes the knight, offering a minor piece exchange. Bg7 puts the bishop on the long diagonal in a move called a fianchetto and attacks the knight on d4. B3 develops the bishop toward the center and protects the knight on d4. This develops a knight from its starting square, activating it. By doing this, a queen moves off of its beginning square and into the action. It is the final book action. Castling gets the king to a safer square, out of the center of the board, while also developing a rook. Castling kingside tends to be safer because the king is further from the center. It is good. Castling develops a rook, while also getting the king to safety. By castling to the opposite side of the board as the opponent, the game will tend to be more double-edged. It is good. This disregards a more effective strategy for molding a bishop. It is incorrect. That's fine. It is good. That's an unfortunate error. It is a mistake. The rooks are linked by this, making it easier for them to work together in the future. It is ideal. The checking bishop is moved away in this move. It is ideal. This is an equal trade. It is best. Recaptures. That is good. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. While not a mistake, that is also not the wisest course of action. That's good. That's a decent move. That's good. Backs off. It is ideal. This turns the pawn into a passed pawn, which means no other pawn may oppose it as it advances. That's good. That's fine. It is good. This secures a pawn. It is ideal. This poses a threat to strike a knight. It is ideal. That pawn was free for the taking. It is best. By growing a bishop from its initial square, this activates it. That's good. The bishop is now on a square that is more secure. That's good. This reveals a rook attack. That's good. That was a truly amazing move. It is brilliant. Recaptures. It is ideal. This is winning stuff. It is quite good. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. That was a great move and very hard to find. It is brilliant. This takes an open file, a common method for activating a rook. It is best. It is a fair deal after all captures. It is ideal. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. Very precise. It is best. This defends the attacked pawn. It is excellent. This makes winning a pawn a possibility. It is quite good. This steps away from the checking queen. It is best. This pins a bishop to the king. It is best. This protects the bishop who was attacked. That's good. Thus, a bishop is won. That's good. The bishop is now in a secure position. That's good. That was a truly amazing move. It is brilliant. Backs off. It is ideal. This is the only good move. 
it is a great move. This evades the check from the queen. It is forced. This skewers the pieces of the opposition. It is ideal. This exposes a bishop attack. It is ideal. This pins a pawn, which restricts its mobility. It is excellent. This steps away from the checking queen. It is best. That queen's capture earns stuff. It is ideal. Recaptures. It is quite good. The passed pawn moves towards its goal. It is best. A very strong play. It is excellent. This moves the checking rook farther away. It is ideal. A solid choice. It is excellent. This deters an assault on a pawn that is weak. That's good. Now that the rook is on an open file, it is easier to control squares all over the board. That's good. A passed pawn is pushed by this. It is quite good. Among the best actions. It is quite good. This forks pieces by creating a simultaneous attack. This threatens to play checkmate. It is best. This prevents the adversary from playing checkmate. It is ideal. It was a free pawn there. It is ideal. This evades the check from the queen. It is forced. This makes winning a pawn a possibility. It is ideal. This steps away from the checking queen. It is best. That is a logical response. It is quite good. This moves away from the queen of checking. It is quite good. The moved pawn advances toward its objective. It is quite good. A very strong play. It is excellent. This wins time by threatening a rook and forcing it to move away. It is excellent. Smooth one player took the advantage and never let go. That game was pretty competitive. White took advantage of what black gave them in the opening. The middle game battle was fairly even.